many things that just is surprising about CPU versus CPU in universe mode. I, I, and not even, and like, it, it just kind of came out of nowhere. Well, this match is for a number one contendership shot at the United States title. Um, as you can see, Tyler Breeze taking on Heath Slater and RVD and Colin Cassidy. So I, I, I think that this is going to be, <laughs> I think this is going to be an interesting match, to be honest with you. Um, I was tempted to put Enzo Amore in the IC title match, uh, number one contendership sp spot. But if you want to see uh, Enzo Amore get a uh, singles title opportunity, and uh, maybe on SmackDown we could get as the sixth competitor in one of those matches. But uh, with Tyler Breeze and Fondango doing so well, <laughs> Ni Naomi is the Triple H of the women's division. That's that is hilarious just not even putting over the young talent of Lita I mean come on jeez <laughs> but uh, here comes Tyler Breeze now I've seen some interesting shit in my day so I who knows maybe Heath Slater will come out of this as a, one of the number one contenders for the US title but the winner of this match will join Kalisto, Baron Corbin, Chris Jericho and Cesaro and Cesaro ended up beating John Cena one-on-one -on, -one on SmackDown to earn a spot here in this U.S. title match. So I think this is going to be really interesting to see. Oh, yeah. Big, big Kaz is seven foot tall, and you can't teach that. One of the things, though, I, I, I really disliked about Colin Cassidy last night is his finishing maneuver, okay? The Empire Elbow is kind of stupid. I think he needs to go back with, like, the big boot or something. Or, like, you know, what, a move where he just kicks the shit out of his opponent's face. Like, or, or anything, really. Like, you you just... The, the Empire Elbow, really? The Empire Elbow. Like, that's just kind of a, a really lame finisher, in my opinion. But I think Colin Cassidy's got a lot of promise. He, he's not very good on the mic yet, but he's trying. Like... Unlike Roman Reigns, he's trying. <laughs> so, I, I, I'm, I'm really going to be interested to see uh, where they go with uh, Colin Cassidy and Enzo Amore. I hope possibly a tag team title match with the New Day could be in the future because I would love to see the promos between those two. Yeah, like a slam, a big boot, something. Like, he's got to use his size to his advantage like an elbow drop really well here comes the one and only Rob Van Dam he's back ladies and gentlemen man I, I Rob Van Dam is freaking awesome I, I, I wish that uh, he's gonna he's gonna um, do, do I just wish that he would compete a little bit more like I know he's, he's super old and they're pro he's probably not gonna come back anytime in the near future but uh, Rob Van Dam oh man yeah, elbow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Elbows are for for the little guys, and and th th usually they're not even finishing maneuvers. Like you don't usually just see someone drop an elbow as the f move that ends matches. Like it does not happen very often. Especially like he didn't even like jump off the top rope or anything. He just kind of fell down. But uh, here comes the one man band, baby. Oh man. In my universe modes, he is a former intercontinental and tag team champion. The social outcast did win the tag titles once in my universe mode. Uh, they beat, they beat um, Enzo and Cass, who had, who had beat the New Day. So here comes Heath Slater. Oh man, Slater's gonna slate, baby. I, I'm. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Heath Slater can pull off this win, man. Uh, I mean, that would just be awesome. Because, come Elimination Chamber, I would not expect any champion to retain. I have played Elimination Chamber twice. One champion retained, and that was the NXT champion Finn Balor the very first time I ran through. So, out of eight Elimination Chamber matches one person retained so I, I we've got four 
But uh, I don't. I don't know. I wouldn't expect a lot of people to retain their titles. So maybe maybe Heath Slater can get the job done. But here comes Colin Cassidy. How you doing? <laughs> oh baby, I gotta say that uh, you know Colin Cassidy. Right now, the the problem with Colin Cassidy is that he reminds me too much of the Big Show. Like the Big Show just kind of uses his size to an advantage, but he's not very good on the mic. He doesn't really talk very well, and that's kind of like what he reminds me of, which wouldn't be a bad thing for Cassidy because I mean Big Show's been world champion a couple of times already, so. You never know. Oh yeah, S A W F T. But uh, gotta say, yeah, I would love to see Heath Slater pull off the huge upset and put himself into the uh, U.S. title match. Anybody can win. Anybody can win. I I have seen a couple of people on YouTube do these universe mode type things as well. I've even seen Tyler Breeze as WWE Champion. You, ne you never know. And uh, one thing that is uh, important to note is that this is a Falls Count Anywhere match, which means you could pin your opponent legit anywhere that this game will allow you to. Because the game won't allow you to go up in the stands, which is, you know, would be hella fun, I tell you what. Like, I, I could dig that. Just start dragging them up the stairs, and then you just kind of go into the arena, and you're pinning them on top of a, a stack of hot dogs or, or something. <laughs> that would be fucking amazing. So Breeze, Breeze and Slater are going after each other, and RVD and Colin Cassidy. Man, RVD just planted Cassidy. Look, they're going for the cover, and the referee... Like, why doesn't the referee just kind of... You know, go down and start counting now. Like he runs all the way over to the other side of the ring, and then he starts counting. Like it's kind of stupid, in my opinion. <laughs> how that, how it just doesn't drop down right there. But uh, all right, so everybody's back in the ring now, and Breeze and Cassidy both with an advantage here. Yeah, dude, backstage brawls. That would, those were those were really uh, uh, awesome things to do. Like, but uh, what I wish they would do is they could do a backstage brawl like combination where like you can drag your opponent backstage and then it like turns into a backstage brawl so that like you could actually go all over the arena in a match. That would be freaking awesome. Like in a falls count, like. Even if you could only do it in like a Falls Count Anywhere situation, that would still be really hella fun. Where you could just drag your opponent, could go to the back and you can just walk all the way around the arena. I gotta say, I like the super kick animation in this uh, in this game, man. It just BOOM! <laughs> Nails him right in the face. Like, the, the, just the, the CPU sells it so well. Man, that's like Ziggler level of selling right there. Yeah, like, here comes the pain. Dude, that game. Man, fucking RVD going to town with a baseball bat. Jeez. Whoa, whoa. And now, oh, Slater, Slater and RVD double-teaming Breeze. Sla Slater and RVD. That, that would be an interesting pairing right there. But, uh... One of the things I gotta say is that I'm gonna miss Cody Rhodes because, I mean, Cody Rhodes was just so freaking amazing. He made every single gimmick that he was given work. I'm just so disappointed that they didn't use him well for the last four years. Like, come on. Me too, man. I'm back in Slater. Let's go. The one-man band. I mean, I, I honestly wouldn't mind seeing any of these superstars make it into that match. I mean, I'd probably prefer Slater. Uh, maybe even Tyler Breeze. Like, Tyler Breeze is okay. RVD's awesome, so it's like, you know, I'm not going to be upset if he wins. Or Ca Cassidy, for that matter. So right now, I'm like, I'm okay. But, I, yeah, Cody Rhodes is gone. He, got, he asked for his release, and he got it yesterday. So Cody Rhodes is is no longer in the WWE. 
So we're not going to see any more Stardust or any of that. It's it's really it's really kind of disappointing, to be honest, because I I'm just I've been such a fan of Cody since even before his legacy days. Like it's just really disappointing that uh, he's no longer in the WWE. Uh, but you know, at the same time, part of me is just like you know this might be a good thing because you know Cody Rhodes could actually you know be a main event star somewhere else. Like I mean, look at um, look at Drew McIntyre. Well, it, yeah, it, it wasn't WWE who released him though. Because, well, I mean, kind of because Cody Rhodes asked them to release him. He didn't want to compete in the WWE anymore. So. Uh, you know, they just obliged and said, you know what, if you want to leave, then that's fine. We'll, we'll release you. So that's what they did. I mean, I, and I don't even blame Cody Rhodes either for wanting to leave. Because, I mean, they, they didn't use him well for four years. Like, he had an amazing, every single gimmick that he used. The dashing gimmick, the disfigured gimmick, the, the gimmick that he did with, uh, you know, his, his tag team with Sandow was awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty good RVD. I can't really take credit because it's just the kind of the first RVD that comes up on the most downloaded part of Community Creations. So, I can't really take credit that RVD looks that badass. I gotta give all the credit to whoever made it because they did a fucking amazing job with it. I tell you what. Yeah, Cody Rhodes, yeah, going to NJPW would be probably the best bet for Cody Rhodes. But I mean, look at look at uh, Drew McIntyre. Like he left, and now he's a huge star. So, in my opinion, like I, I I just think that you go and you main event other promotions. Like Cody Rhodes can main event other places. I, I'm interested though to see if they're gonna like make him change his name. Cause I mean he's a Rhodes. Like I mean his his father Dusty Rhodes. Like it'd be kind of weird for to to see him like come out as some other name. Besides that, or, or Stardust, or anything that he's done. So that, well, I'm. I, so far, this match has been has been pretty uh, interesting. I I can't tell who who it really has the upper hand though. I mean, RVD's been doing pre pretty terrific, and Breeze and Cassidy have been trading momentum uh, for much of this match, and now Cassidy going for the cover and a kick out. Tyler Breeze. I gotta say though, I'm really disappointed about what they've done with Tyler Breeze as well. Um, yeah, Luke Gallows is another example of uh, of that. Like, yeah, like for for Luke Gallows, like I I liked what they did kind of with the uh, with the whole Straight Edge Society, but I mean for for Gallows, like that, that probably was stupid. To, oh man, I was hoping Slater would get that pin right there. But Cody Rhodes, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just hoping that he does what what he needs to do because, uh, what what would be really awesome is if he could join uh, Ted DiBiase, dude. Legacy 2.0, do it. I dig that. Have the legacy return. Have Cody Cody and Ted team up again. Oh man. Nice, nice slam by by uh, Colin. Is that going to be enough? Two and a kick out. Nope, not enough. Not enough to put put uh, Cassidy in that U.S. title match at Elimination Chamber. I gotta say though, um, oh Slater! Wait, Slater! Slater just hit that move. What does he call it? I don't remember. Two. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping that that was going to be it. Oh, man. I, I think that was... Wasn't that Slater's finishing move? I can't remember what he calls that move, though. Oh, nice reversal by Slater, though. Slater's got some... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Slater's going for it. Wait, Slater's going for it. He, he's going to try for it. Here we go. There's that DD team. Go for it, Slater! One, two, no. <laughs> not enough to put Slater in the U.S. title match. Oh, man. Yeah, that was his signature move. 
I, I, I don't know what it's called still, though, but 